In this video, we will tell you about the F-117 Nighthawk, one of the most famous and innovative stealth bombers. Let's learn about its unique characteristics and features that made it invisible to enemy radar. Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk is an American single-seat, subsonic tactical stealth bomber designed and produced by Lockheed Skunk Works. The F-117 was one of the first stealth aircraft and gained wide recognition during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. The main objective was to create a radar-invisible bomber capable of penetrating deep into enemy territory and attacking critical targets. The F-117 made its first flight in 1981 and was officially introduced into the U.S. Air Force in 1983. The length of the Lockheed F-117 aircraft is 20.08 meters. Height, 3.78 meters. Wingspan, 13.2 meters. Weight, 24,721 kilograms, empty, 52,163 kilograms, maximum takeoff weight. Engines, 2X General Electric F404, F1D2 with a thrust of 39.1 knots each. Maximum speed, approximately 993 kilometers per hour, Mach 0.92. Range, approximately 1,100 kilometers. Crew, one person. It is important to note that the F-117 was designed with radar invisibility in mind, and its primary goal was to penetrate enemy territory without being detected by radar systems. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk is equipped with various weapons that allow it to carry out ground attack missions. The F-117 can carry various types of guided bombs, which provide high accuracy when attacking ground targets. Some of the most common types, GBU-10 Paveway 2 Laser Guided Bomb. GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser guided bomb with an enhanced warhead gbu 27 paveway 3 laser guided bomb with the ability to penetrate underground targets the f-117 can also use air to ground guided missiles for attacking ground targets for example agm 65 maverick guided missile with infrared or semi-active laser seeker AGM-88 Harm, guided missile designed to suppress enemy air defenses. Although the F-117 is primarily designed for ground attack missions, it can also carry air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense in case of encountering enemy aircraft. An example of such a missile is the AIM-9 Sidewinder, which is a short-range infrared guided air-to-air -air missile. The armament strategy of the F-117 may vary depending on the specific mission and operational requirements. The Lockheed F-117 is operated by a single pilot who occupies the aircraft's cockpit. The F-117 pilot's cockpit is equipped with advanced information display systems that assist the pilot in navigation aircraft control, and mission execution. It features a dashboard with multifunctional color displays, multifunction color displays, that provide the pilot with information on flight parameters, aircraft systems, and targets for attack. The F-117 is equipped with an automatic flight control system, which ensures the stabilization and control of the aircraft during flight. This system includes an autopilot and a flight management computer that help the pilot maintain the desired trajectory and perform maneuvers. The F-117 utilizes an inertial navigation system, 
which determines the aircraft's position based on measurements of its accelerations and velocity changes. It can also be equipped with a global positioning system, which provides more precise location determination and navigation. The F-117 has communication and data transmission systems that allow the pilot to receive commands and information from the command center or other sources. This enables the pilot to stay aware of the operational situation and make appropriate decisions. The F-117 is also equipped with electronic warfare systems that help detect and counter threats such as enemy radars and air defense systems. Operating the F-117 requires a high level of pilot skill and training to effectively maneuver the aircraft in various conditions and missions. The Lockheed F-117 was officially withdrawn from service by the U.S. Air Force in 2008. The process of retiring the aircraft began after years of successful operational service and the emergence of new stealth aircraft, such as the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, capable of performing similar missions using more advanced technologies. The U.S. Air Force had planned to continue operating the F-117 until at least 2018. However, Due to financial constraints associated with the procurement of new multi-role fighters like the F-22, they decided to start the process of retiring the F-117 earlier. The official announcement of this decision was made in the fall of 2006. In the same year, the F-117 pilot training school was closed, and the final class of pilots graduated on October 13, 2006. The officially announced retirement of the F-117 was part of a budget reduction and modernization strategy for the U.S. military. However, some sources indicate that certain F-117 aircraft may have continued to be used for special missions and testing in classified or covert operations. The first 10 F-117s were retired in December 2006. By March 2008, the U.S. Air Force still had 15 aircraft of this model in service. The formal process of withdrawal from service was completed on April 22nd of the same year when four F-117s took to the air for the last time and flew to the Tonopah Test Range Airfield. After being withdrawn from service, the majority of F-117 aircraft were placed into storage in the Boneyard at Tonopah Test Range in Nevada. These aircraft were rendered non-operational and underwent preservation to maintain their condition. However, specific details about the current number of remaining aircraft and their future fate remain classified for national security reasons. As of 2014, the retired aircraft were housed in a special, storage 1000, facility and were kept in a flyable condition. In 2016, the U.S. Congress decided to send the existing F-117s to the davis monthan Air Force Base in Arizona for storage in an open-air setting. In February 2019, sightings were reported of four aircraft of this model flying in the neighboring state of Nevada. The Lockheed F. 117 was one of the most renowned and innovative fighter bombers in aviation history. It was designed for night attack and deep penetration missions into enemy territory. Its purpose was to deliver precise strikes against strategic and tactical targets such as military bases, communication centers, and anti-aircraft systems. Thanks to its stealth capabilities and the ability to conduct missions in limited visibility conditions, the F-117 served as a crucial means of enemy suppression and support for ground operations. Overall, the Lockheed F-117 left a significant impact on the development of aviation technologies and air operation strategies. Its innovative approach to stealth and striking power continues to influence the field to this day. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments. Your engagement is greatly appreciated by us.